Right now on Western News at 6, a hit and run crash involving a pregnant woman, but troopers didn't have to go far to catch the suspect. Tony. And Jim, potential tropical cyclone 5 has formed this afternoon. We'll show you the cone and what it means for Central Florida straight ahead. And later, spanning five decades here at West 2 News, we are looking back at the legacy of our own space expert as he blasts off into retirement. Local, live, late breaking. West 2 News starts now. First tonight on West News at 6, we are tracking the tropics and an area that could potentially become a tropical cyclone. Let's get you right over to First Warning Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi. And Tony, this is not an imminent threat. His career spanned five separate decades. Today, we're saying goodbye and congratulations to the man who knows anything and everything about space. That's right. A look at the incredible career space expert Dan Billow has had and the legacy he leaves behind. Next. Closed captioning on West 2 News is driven by Toyota Orlando and Toyota of Claremont. His career spanned five decades. He joined West News back in 1987. But today he's blasting off into a new chapter, and that's retirement for West 2 space expert Dan Billow. From the loss of the Space Shuttle Columbia to the Falcon Heavy's incredible first liftoff, Dan has them all covered. Here's a look at the legacy he leaves behind at West 2. The Pentagon has been keeping secret the purpose of the launch. Dan was a young man when he started at WESH more than three decades ago. And the P-3 can not only be used to find Soviet subs. Missile away. The Trident II can deliver 12 warheads to separate targets with pinpoint accuracy. Now that it can carry the Trident II, the Kentucky becomes the world's most destructive warship. Yes, it's important to wear a helmet. But don't worry, you couldn't possibly look any sillier than I do. Whether Dan was riding a horse. The orange crop here this year is in pretty good shape. Outstanding in a field of citrus. Spending a ridiculous amount of time going to and from stories. It's not fully deployed. And carefully crafting copy that didn't just tell a story, it made you feel a part of the story. The beach management coordinator says overall it doesn't appear there's much additional erosion from Maria, and those structures have been reported damaged. But then again, Maria is not quite finished. Kitty cat, what's wrong? You were underground and couldn't get out? Good thing you spoke up. Right now might be the best time to float a gas tax increase. Dan never backed down from anything. I'm uh, taking my chances here. Uh-oh. Ah! Not even a hurricane. Uh, as I said, I was taking my chances being down at the bottom of the uh, walkway. News Channel 2's Dan Billow live at Kennedy Space Center. And Dan, we've overcome the uh, mechanical problems and now the weather and things look pretty good. Well, Jim, this is why NASA's philosophy is if you've got uh, the astronauts together, the shuttle ready to go, put the fuel in the tank and give it a try. But it's Dan's coverage of the space program that separated him from the rest. It earned him countless awards and boundless respect from his coworkers and peers. No one covered space like Dan Billow. No matter what they're doing now, they'll always be the Apollo 11 astronauts. It's an unbreakable bond that these three share. But unbreakable bonds can start to feel like shackles. The explosion uh, was not especially loud. Uh, it didn't seem as loud as the, uh, the rumble of the solids in themselves. You've heard it said that space is hard. For more than three decades, Dan made it look easy. Seven people are on their way to Space Station Alpha. There are the lights of the runway now just coming into view. It gives you an idea of how they point that nose right at the ground and pull it up at the last moment. Oh, and now beginning to flare up Columbia's nose. Right now we're counting down to three seconds to landing. Yeah, they're supposed to be landing right now. They're not here. Where are they? They're, they're lost. February 1st, 2003, the day Columbia never made it home. On one of Central Florida's darkest days, Dan Billow's knowledge of the space program never shined more brightly. This has never happened before. Uh, they are gone. Uh, I don't mean gone forever. I mean they are gone as far as we know. No script, just a handful of notes and a head full of knowledge. This is the 113th mission, 111 times the uh, space shuttle has come home with no problem and everyone's cheered and been happy. You had Challenger back in 1986 that did not return and now you have STS-107. Dan telling the world before anyone else why this mission failed. During launch, uh, a piece of insulation on the shuttle's uh, big external fuel tank apparently came loose. 
and struck the left wing of Columbia. That is uh, hauntingly uh, reminiscent of the Challenger disaster. That is something that is falling out of the sky, breaking up into pieces and burning. The dragon roared, everything going as planned. The first stage did its job. The second stage separated. Falcon stage separation confirmed. You were going to miss all of this, Dan. This is where John Young sat. But not as much as we'll miss watching you. A beautiful Engineers way to end the Space Shuttle A. Godspeed, Dan Billow, and thanks for the memories. At the Kennedy Space Center, Dan Billow, West 2 News. Come a long way from that young-looking man in the first couple of frames. I was there. just going to say, there's there's the new me. There's that older guy who doesn't look 17 anymore. We do have a, a special treat for you. A former U.S. senator who just happens to be running NASA right now has a few words to offer. What in the world are you doing retiring? How are they going to report the space news without you? And wait a minute, Dan, you and I are oldies but goodies. So I'm not retired. Why are you retiring? But that decision of yours, Godspeed and enjoy that retirement. Yeah, I think we call him Senator Nelson. He'll always be Senator Nelson to most of us. But I, th I think those words are what we would all like to express to you. Godspeed in your retirement. Well, thank you. Yeah, uh, Bill Nelson and I are both old Brevard County boys. He's from Melbourne, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's my home. I wasn't born there, but it, it's home. So, uh, yeah, we've had a good relationship over the years, and, and thank you very much for, for that uh, reporting. That uh, really, really uh, is something I'll, I'll never forget, that story. Thank you for doing that. It was a lot of fun going through all that stuff. It was cool to see, Danny. You know, I just wanted to ask you, just share with our viewers very quickly, uh, what's most memorable for you? Well... I, I think most memorable is, is putting it all together and being most memorable is being a witness to history and being uh, you know on the front row seat uh, that NASA is uh, generous enough to give to news reporters and to, to be there recording all that history good and bad uh, is something that you know you, you can't take away I was there and uh, I'm proud of that and I had a lot of fun doing it and I had some tears doing it and had some bad times doing it when I think about Columbia, but uh, that's, that's you know, how to sum it up best, I think, is having a front row seat to history. I will, I will say on behalf of all the people that have worked with you, we all felt like we needed to step up our game when we were sitting, especially getting ready for a launch. Yeah, and uh, know it. thank you for making us all better. Dan, really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's uh, been a privilege to work for WESH, too, all these years, and with all my friends like you here. Yeah. Thank you. And Tony, too. You've worked with Tony. Yeah. Well, I've got a picture of the three of us, and it's actually the first time that I met you, you being in Brevard County, but got an oldie but a goodie. It was you, Claire, and I, and this is going back to the return to flight. I've got a nice little photo here, if you guys can pop that up on uh, WSI1. <laughs> so that's going back. Right. That's a great shot. It's the first time I met you. It was so cool seeing you work with Claire and describing everything. But what most people at home don't realize, not only is Dan a space force, he's a meteorologist. And we've had many a talk uh, in the Weather Center over the years. And Dan, I do appreciate our time in the Weather Center, your dedication, not just to the space side of it, but the weather, to the weather side of it. Thank you. Thanks for bringing that up. That is something I'm proud of as well. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and take a look now at what is going on in the weather world. I'd love to have Dan do it, but uh, he's got places to be and people to meet and things to do. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's take a look now as we track the tropics, potential tropical cyclone five. Stay tuned to WESH 2 for NBC Nightly News, sponsored locally by Morgan & Morgan. Today's Dan Billow's final day at WESH 2 News. Journalist, storyteller, intense, family man. Were you ready for this new chapter in your life? It's a little bittersweet. Yeah, it's going to be a kind of chaotic and difficult, but I have been looking forward to it for almost all my life. Yeah, <laughs> we kind of kind of <laughs> all are too, Dan. And we wish you the best moving forward. And, and hopefully when we have a big story and you're available, you can come back and help us out. A There's bit. that chance for a big launch. The Artemis program yes. could happen. There you go. Awesome. Stellar journalism. Thank you so much for your example, Dan. Thank you.